Yep, there it is. There it is. We lit. We fire. This is uh, this is not bad. How's it sound? Yeah. Oh, it sounds good. And it's yo, not for nothing. It's mad dark in here. It's super fucking dark in here. I'm flabbergasted. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, house tour. Here we go. You ready? I just want to see how versatile this one is. Okay. <laughs> All right, that shit's out. That's where I stream from. This is this is light too. I'm gonna drop this fucking thing. I just know it. I just know I'm gonna drop it. Yeah, so that's where I stream from. That's all the boxes and shit. I don't know what I'm supposed to be showing y'all. Why did I agree to this? Oh, the Grammys. So the Grammys stopped. They kind of stopped making the trophies for writers and shit. So if you're just a writer or a producer on some shit that won a Grammy, they give you these things. So all those are Grammys that I won. They don't do the trophies for the writers and producers. The people in the background don't get the big trophies but there's the two trophies the two grammys for my main shit because i was an artist on those yeah they got real cheap especially after uh kanye pissed on them after kanye put his grammy in the toilet and pissed on it they kind of was like we're not gonna keep making these bitches if niggas just gonna be pissing on them so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I had that thing made because people kept coming in here with stuff. People kept touching my light switches and shit. So I had them covered up. This thing, uh, this thing, and then that comes off of there. And all my light switches are back there. This is uber heavy. So I don't know if y'all remember back uh, before we renovated downstairs, I had a whole hallway that was all skateboards. It was just skateboards hung up throughout the whole hallway. This is made out of all the skateboards. Since we got rid of the hallway, because the hallway used to be you come through this door and this was a hallway instead of just the whole room. It looks like y'all playing Skyrim right now. So anyways, so you go out of the f***ing Navi Boy doors. Kaboom, kabam. Very conceited. Conceited ass little boy. You know, you come out here. You come out here. Shit's on the walls. Shit's on the walls. You know, and you come into here. This was the first Nappy Boy Gaming logo. That's what Nappy Boy Gaming was gonna be, but then, you know, not. Uh, that's what this looks like from the back. From the bike. The rest of the room. I know you guys have seen all this. See my game stations made by TGT Studios. We got Atari, we got PlayStation 1, obviously. We got, what was that, Tekken? Tekken 3. PlayStation 1, over here we got Sega, Sega, two Segas. Over here we got the uh, arcade shit. Y'all can't see shit. I, I don't know how to hold this now. It's getting weird. But yeah, this is the arcade shit with 3,000 games on it. Uh, Super Nintendo, the SNES shit. So we got two of those. Then yeah, then that weird thing with the Dragon Ball Do-Ray. Good stuff. The, uh, the drifting shit. So yeah, drift set up, shit like that. This is lit. Oh, y'all never seen this door, I don't think. So I have this soundproof door for when I'm screaming and shit. So, yeah, that door is pretty soundproof. It's thick as hell. I don't know if you saw how thick it was, but that's shit. All right, so yeah, I think that door is. That's how thick the door is. It's kind of double, double layered. It's that thick. So we soundproof that motherfucker. But yeah, when they're closed like they're supposed to be. There you go, a little nappy boy. It's my little collection corner right here. But you know what I mean? Stuff that people send me sometimes and shit like that. Uh, I don't think you guys have seen this stuff. This is some of my car stuff. Some of my cars that was in magazines and you know, over the years. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, let me see, outfits. That's five o'clock in the morning. That's the, the jacket I wore in the video. Uh, what the f is that? Oh, that was from the Toshiba commercial. Probably shouldn't be talking about that on Lenovo shit. Um, this was a BT performance, I think. Got the homies down here. Got Polo to Don, Monica, Usher. I think this was a Christmas party. I was fucking toasted. I was drunk as a motherfucker. God damn. Look at that stupid nigga right there. I'm skinnier too. Um, got this for uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think. Was that Zero Dawn? I think it was. No, or was it the new one? I don't know. It was the VR one. Uh, more pops. We got more pops down here. So there's more pops. <laughs> there's more pops. Uh, I don't know which ones they are. I, I haven't looked. And that was for the soundtrack of Big Mama, Big Mama's House. 
three awards that there. That was for the IMT Pain microphones, the toy microphone I wore that. This was the outfit I wore on my first tour. It was with Chris Brown. Me and Chris Brown went on tour. That was my first tour I ever been on. And this was the outfit I decided to wear. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that was... <laughs> Um, y'all, y'all know this room. Y'all don't have to worry about this. This is fucking stupid. Y'all never get to see this side. But this is all my, this is where TVs are. So we got three TVs for the people that sit over there so they can watch and shit. Everybody always see my TVs and say they're up too high because the seats are so far down. But what nobody knows is that that's that step right there. You gotta step, you gotta step up. So when you do step up, boom, TVs are eye level now. So anytime people see my TVs, they say, you, you mounted your TVs too high. No, I didn't. This, this, now they're eye level. So, in your f***ing balls. The fat boys. Fat boys. Look at them. 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 Fat boy. Oh, y'all can't see shit over here, huh? So here's how I did my hallway. And some people have seen this, some people haven't. So I did my hallway in chronological order of my career. So all the plaques I got and all the, you know, shit to hang up, I made sure I hung it up in the order that it happened. So it starts over here with the nappy heads. So the nappy heads is a group that I used to be in in Tallahassee. That's me right there. See the guy? That's me. That's me up there. That was our first album. Napatine, don't know what that means still. Have no idea why we made it like it was an acronym that we didn't have a meaning for that at all. So this was our first article that we were ever that we ever had. It was in Billboard. That was pretty cool. And then it goes around this way. Oh, this is the wine cellar, by the way. It's messy as in here. Please do not judge because this used to be. Oh no, it's actually pretty good. So this is. This is where I go when I say, I'm about to go get a drink real quick. This is where I come to. It's supposed to be cold in there. It's very, very lukewarm in this motherfucker right now. So, <clears throat> this used to be all Nouveau. Every square inch of this bitch was pink. When I had to deal with Nouveau, they stocked this bitch. And part of the contract was they had to keep this stocked with Nouveau. They had to, but you know, over the years, I, I, I just couldn't anymore. Um, <laughs> So, it was just too much. Yeah, um, so this goes from here and then it goes around to first album or first single, I guess. So that was my first news article and my first magazine article. The BMI shit, that's where I was getting all my money from for I'm Sprung. The ringtones, remember ringtones? Holy shit. See that phone in the corner? Look at the phone. So yeah, so that's the first album. Then it goes around to when I went gold on that. The proclamation for T-Pain Day. T-Pain Day, July 3rd. Very nice, that's my first. Now that's what I call music. Kaboom, another dub thing that happened. Sweet, everybody's having a good time. Fantastic, then it goes around to this guy. It's another BMI, just some more articles and some shit from my album release party. Another BMI down there. It's an infrared sauna with a booty in it. You know what I mean? So more conceitedness on the wall, more BMI shit. So it's just more career shit that just happened over the years. So it goes down, it gets more and more weird. It's Kiss Kiss up there, double platinum Kiss Kiss, I think. No, that was single platinum. Uh, more outfits. That was a performance I did with Chris Brown. More now shit, more BMI stuff. When Epiphany went platinum, bartender, buy your drink and shit like that. Some of the stuff was supposed to glow in the dark, but I, I kind of opted out of that because I, I, I drink too much and then I don't want to get freaked out by my damn self. Um, you can't see some of this stuff. It's, it's very dumb. But yeah, so it goes down, it goes down, it goes down a lot. It goes down, a lot more shit on the walls. Did I skip a picture or anything like that? Nope, okay. Yep, another joint on the wall right there. My airbrush guy is fucking immaculate. He's really goddamn good. So this is when I start wearing the top hats and that's why I got the top hats on the ceiling. If you can see how that looks. If you can see how that looks, top hats are up there on display. So yeah, some of the legendary top hats on the ceiling, just hanging down, just chilling there. Top hats, top hats, top hats. Pictures on the wall, pictures and pictures and other stuff and those top hats are in the in the order like so when i was wearing top hats all the stuff that's on the wall around the top hats are they happened when i was wearing top hats so everything is in order 
Um, yeah. Uh, what didn't we see? The club. I see the club. We're about to renovate all this, but right now this is just what it looks like. So this is the club. We're about to renovate all this, but it's the club. Yeah. So anytime y'all hear me asking somebody, oh, y'all about to go in the club, then this is what we're talking about. So the club. So yeah, fun times. That's how that works. Okay. This, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun.